years for Lord Prime League, 2012-2013 season. Another, another exciting season awaits us all, and all the teams are each to start the new campaign. Ten team lineup for the new season is BAA Wanderers, Flanagan Onions, Lobster Pot, Lock and Key, North Village, Robin Hood, Tough Dogs, Valley, Vasco de Gamma, and West End United. Although this season will be a 10 league format, we do expect to be back to the full 12 teams next season. This exciting new season will start with the Rubis Charity Shield on 27th of September. Warman's all up for the much anticipated start of the league, which kicks off on Friday the 5th of October, with the champions starting the defence of their title against Lock and Key at 6.30. With a break for Christmas, and with the Bistro Challenge Cup rounds filtered into the schedule, the league continues on to the 23rd of March, which will give us the fourth name to be added to the Prime League Trophy. The new team format seems gay times moved on Saturday to 2pm, 4pm and 6pm, which will allow for the players to get a few extra tips watching the English Premier League before taking to the pitch. <laughs> This year sees the introduction of the transfer window to the Corona League, which will allow players that have already played in the league to move from any top half ta table team to any lower half table team. This will refresh the league midway through the season and strengthen the lower sides. The, the window will be open for the first two weeks of January and should make for an interesting start to 2013. Thanks to Rubis and David Rose, our Charity Shield game continues to allow us to give back to the community with entertaining football for the family to spectate, as well as financially to charity. This year's games see our first double winning side, Tough Dogs, taking on the league runners-up, BAA, at 3pm this Saturday. With the continued support of the Bermuda Bistro at the beach, we again have the Bistro Challenge Cup as our knockout competition start on the 7th of December with the climax of the cup competition coming with the final on February the 4th of April. February, sorry, February the 5th of April. And you'll have to wait till then to see the new name makes it onto the, onto the cup. The Docksider again provided the sponsorship for the end of season All-Star game with all the teams being represented in the end of season finale which truly shows the bond that has grown between all the teams involved in the Grove League. And though it's getting tougher for teams to pick only two stars, it's, getting, it's great to see the new friendships being forged on the field. Under our umbrella as a Bermuda Commercial League, due to the youth participation, last season saw us partner with YouthNet, Bermuda Brazilian Football School and BAA in a football-based mentoring program. YouthNet has provided the mentoring tools and administration with the Bermuda Brazilian Football School bringing the coaching skills, BA providing the facility, and Bermuda Commercial League bringing the mentors. And I'm pleased to say we'll be continuing this, this season. It's, it's great to be a part of this four way partnership. In closing, I would like to thank the board members for all their hard work they do and the time they donate to make the league work as well as, as it does. I'd also like to thank all our sponsors who show us great faith since we came with a, with a blank piece of paper four years ago and backed us all the way since then. I'd especially like to thank Corona, Goslings and Charles Gosling, not only for being our title sponsor, but also for providing us with this venue today and some ice cold Coronas. I'd like to pass over to Charles Gosling. After the end of the last season, though, that actually marked the end of our initial commitment uh, for the Corona League. And I uh, was very happy to have a, a meeting with, uh, with Mike and some of his uh, other members from, from his team uh, to talk about moving on forward. And we we're very, very, very happy to, uh, to actually sign on again. Uh, there's an uh, increase in, in, in sponsorship. We'll be here for a couple more years. Uh, we think that the Corona League is doing an absolutely phenomenal job and it's uh, great to see uh, that we can have uh, a, a, really a sporting organization such as the Corona League 
let's go on and show, really show everybody else how, how to do it. Um, it's, it's, uh, you, you can just hear good things that are coming out of, uh, from, the, from the BAA field. Uh, and the nice uh, uh, competition at the same time that you have the camaraderie, uh, which is just um, uh, unfortunately missing in, in, in two other uh, uh, many uh, uh, sporting, uh, uh, sporting fixtures these days. So thank you all very much for what you're doing to, to make this a great league. Uh, thanks to uh, the sponsors, uh, Dave Rose here today from uh, Rubus, uh, for the, uh, you know, for thank you. It makes our, our burden of sponsorship a little less, but we have uh, other uh, great companies there as well, so uh, that's always lovely. Um, looking forward to, to, a, to a great season this year, um, and hopefully next year we'll be back, back up to 12, and, and maybe even having number 13 or 14 teams knocking on the door. Mike pulling out whatever remaining hair he has on the rest of his body saying how we're going to deal with this. But uh, anyway, thank you all and let's have a great season.